days. Uh, yeah, today I'm thinking about sharing with you guys what uh, my experience about the uh, eyelash extension that I had the other day. So, okay, um, I bought a uh, like a voucher from from Groupon, which is I what I norm normally do for my other uh, services for my uh, Cairo treatment and like any other stuff. So I decided to do the eyelash extension as well with them and so I bought that uh, coupon the other night and then the next day I mean the other night and then I called uh, the salon after I bought it and then scheduled my appointment the next day after work I'm gonna go there so Case picked me up at work and then we went there Case waited for me <clears throat> and then I was there already um, they just have this chairs lined up it's a reclining chair so I sat and then the lady started to do my um, eyelash, eyelash extension and then after that well of course my eyes are closed I don't know what's going on she just asked me oh what's the normal length that you use for your eyelashes and I said you can base it on my previous one because I still have like a couple of pieces that's left on my lash and she said oh you're having a medium then I'll just mix it with the uh, uh, long and the medium one and so it would look you know volume would look better and then it would look visible and like that and I said okay but I don't know what they were using that's my first mistake so I didn't ask um because it's not print I mean it's not showing or it's not described or the description is uh, based on the Groupon's description it wasn't indicated there that it was a synthetic one or something like that so okay I tried it I was she was doing my lashes and then after that after maybe only 20 minutes she's done with my procedure and then uh, she showed it to me and I said like feels different it's it feels heavy but then I remember she warned me that oh okay this will feel heavy and like okay yeah it's kind of a little bit heavy not the you know because you're adding a, a, that's why you're doing a lash extension you're adding additional uh, pieces of uh, extension lash lashes on your <clears throat> on your normal what you have then I went to the restroom and then left and I feel like it's really heavy and when I try to like close and blink my eyes it's it's like poking so I said oh maybe I'm not used to it or maybe this is different and I tried to touch it and that's what I figure out it's not the natural lash that they were using they're using a synthetic one it feels um, stiff and it feels like you know it's like there's you know, some kind of wire on it and then a few more hours I feel like it's so tight it's stiff it's tight it's like it's pulling everything is like it's like they're pulling each other that's how it feels and then uh, the next day it feels so sore and I, I don't know if you can see it like my eyelids are like a little bit sore um, <clears throat> when I tried to like put oil on it you know because it doesn't feel right anymore so I tried to like pour a little bit of the uh, uh, makeup remover, which is I use. I use a uh, water base and I have an oil base. I use the oil one. <clears throat> and what I'm looking at it and uh, it seems that the lashes was glued not on individual lash that I have but it was glued on my skin 
which is my IC. I'm going to try to put some oil. Oh, it hurts so bad. My eyelid. Um, I was happy with my previous uh, lashes um, sessions and you know I don't need to put mascara anymore every time I you know I do my makeup go to work it's really convenient and easy like you just need to put eyebrow like you know my usual makeup and then it's good to go with my lashes and then it's not messy when I take off my, my makeup or anything like that so um my advice would be first uh read read the description and then of uh, before buying it or maybe call directly the salon and then ask what they're using so you know sometimes it's not on their website or anything and um read the reviews like I would do that more or like I just because sometimes I just read you know couple of reviews the showing and then I don't go to the other pages anymore but now I learned like okay I really need to do this like for everything until I reached you know the old ones and like like have learned from it and then um if you are like uncomfortable just say it right away so they will stop and they will do something about it and then um what else um yeah i mean i have uh i've taken some videos to show you guys like how I like put a lot of oil on it and like how it was glued directly on my skin. You see it's glued on my skin. Can you see this part? It's like it's pulling the skin. There's no space. And it feels so sore. doesn't fall off oh my god so I'm gonna apply this oil leave it overnight So these are the lashes that was that came off my when I'm trying to put the the uh, oil. So Kay said it looks like spider <laughs> legs. It's funny, but yeah. Uh, when I was looking at it. I can still see some uh, some of the lash my real lashes that came off. This is so thick. It, you can see it's like cluster of lashes which is not it's not a good quality. It's clustered and it's like glued just it's like it was glued on top of the other and then on top of it and then it's like that it's not individually uh 
placed on my lashes. That's why it's like, uh, it looks weird. And it looks sore, but yeah, it, it happens. So. Thank you guys for watching. I just hope that you'll also learn from what happened to me and just be cautious and careful on, you know, the salon that you're uh, picking. If you really need to do your eyelash extension. So, <clears throat> this ex I've never been to this salon before. Um, this salon is in Irving and yeah, um, I won't go back there anymore. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll also watch my previous video video of my um, eyelash extension uh, vlog, which you'll see there. I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy with the result that I had. So thank you.